about the intended exercise of the validation and verifications of the NGOs that operate and exist in Uganda. You've heard that there are a number of NGOs. So this morning, I would like to share with you the exercise which we are going to run beginning tomorrow, precisely, as I said, to validate and to verify how many NGOs are in Uganda registered, how many NGOs are validly licensed, and how many NGOs are illegally existing in Uganda. So this is the purpose for which I am here with you this morning. 1,810 valid NGOs, 212 operate in the Western region, 216 operate in the Northern region, 294 operate in the central region, no, 294 operate in the eastern region, and 1,264 operate in the central region. There are 164 that operate in more than one region, but not all the four regions. There are 1,660 that operate in all the four regions. 3,810 NGOs that have valid operating permits, 3,003 are indigenous, 482 are foreign, 235 are international, 53 are regional, 37 are continental. Of the 3,810, 3, the areas of operation, sectors where they operate are 18. And I'll run very quickly through these, no, 17 areas. Those involved in accountability sector are two, Security and Defense, three. Energy and Minerals, three. Works and Transport, six. Those involved in the legislature, six. Trade, Industry and Cooperatives, nine. Public Sector Management, 20. ICT, 24. Science, Technology and Innovation, 25. Tourism, 26. Public Administration, 30, Agriculture, 79, Water and Environment, 110, Justice, Law and Order, 186, Education, 188, Health, 389, Social Development, 2,704. So that is the area in which the NGOs that are validly operating are involved in. As I say, this is therefore to inform all the NGOs and all the stakeholders that we are going to carry out a validation exercise for all NGOs with valid permits starting tomorrow, the 8th of August 2019, up to the 7th of September 2019. The validation forms will be accessed through a portal, www.validate.ngobureau.go.ug. And 
the list of NGOs with valid and expired permits can be accessed through the Internal Affairs website, www.mia.go.ug. Now, the form which will be accessed through WW Validate is a form like this one. It is so detailed. This is the form the NGOs will be required to fill. It is in that portal I have indicated to you. And that once they fill this form, soft copy, they will have to print it and submit the hard copy to the NGO Bureau headquarters. NGOs with expired permit but are still operating, should use this window of 8th August to 7th September to renew their permits. If an NGO fails to apply for a renewal by the 7th of September, we will, we will presume that it has wound up and that it is not operational. However, those that take this window beginning tomorrow up to the 7th of September to register, to re-register, must also undertake the validation exercise. With the expired permits, but are still operating, should use this window of 8th August to 7th September to renew their permits. If an NGO fails to apply for a renewal by the 7th of September, we will, we will presume that it has wound up and that it is not operational. However, those that take this window beginning tomorrow up to the 7th of September to register, to re-register, must also undertake the validation exercise. The validation exercise is completed. We will make a report called the State of NGOs in Uganda, and we will publish this report by October this year which will indicate the information current regarding the operations of the NGO. This is a period, a window of amnesty. We are giving the NGOs a window of amnesty to rectify what I have indicated as anomalies. So we will not penalize them, we will not require them to pay. Biaruhanga said, uh, is, are there hidden motives in this exercise? The answer is no. We simply want to know who is here and who is operating validly. As you remember, I said, on the register, the registered NGOs are 14,000 but only 3,800 are validly operating. So we want to reconfirm what we have done as a basic validation exercise, now to verify, by actually talking to them themselves and they say we are here. So it is not intended to victimize anybody whatsoever. All the requirements, as I said, are in this form. Who are you? Where are you operating? And all of this, that information is in this form. Now, Kintu, you said penalty? No, as I say. This is a window of amnesty for everyone. Now, the cost, I'll ask the interim ED 
to respond to. How much have we lost by virtue of the fact that some are operating illegally? What is the cost? As I said, it's a free, free of charge exercise. The cost may be going into your computer, getting the data to operate, and so on. But we will not charge a fee for this validation exercise. Pascal, you said, what are we looking for? As I have said, we would like to know who is here validly, who is here on the paper but does not exist on the ground, so that at our level, when we take decisions, it is out of verifiable facts. We, would not, we do not like to take decisions on assumptions. Tom indicated that there are, are NGOs that, that have registered with the register of companies. Yes, that is true. If you recollect, that was initially the situation. But now we are working with the Bureau closely in order to reconcile in as far as the Act stipulates and requires us to. So yes, that is a true situation that existed. But as I have just told you, we are working together.